Over Hollywood, Tamman Sursock first uh, caught our attention playing Danny Sutherland in Summer Bay. You remember? I just can't imagine my mum and my... Babe, look, maybe this is for the best. I mean, people get divorced all the time. Don't say that, OK? I just can't deal with this. Oh, so cute. Since then, the brunette beauty has come a long really way. In 2008, she earned an Emmy Award nod for her role in the world's number one daytime soap, The Young and the Restless. Her domination of Tinseltown continued, starring alongside Miley Cyrus in Hannah Montana. Now she's the popular villainess of the, uh, on the successful American series, Pretty Little Liars. Yes. And you never told Toby. It was safer if he didn't know. God, you were so twisted. I wonder how it got that way. And with the new season, a couple of movies in the works, it seems there's no stopping this Aussie actress. And Tamman Sursock is here in Australia as the <laughs> face of the richest day in horse racing. This weekend's Golden Slipper joins us now. Hey, you. What a wonderful introduction. I will pay you all later. <laughs> Can I make a formal apology? Yes. Because uh, we, we saw a shot of you in Home and Away. I like, love it. Look, you like that stuff? I actually really? do. It's you know what? Like Home and Away began my whole career, yeah. and um, it changed my life instantly. And if it wasn't for that show, I never would have got an agent in America. And um, you know, it was it was such an incredible opportunity, and I like looking back at it. Although I'm like, I'm so young, and I'm getting older. <laughs> look at those nice rosy cheeks. Now I have to put blush on You're to make baby. myself look like that. You're I know. A baby. And, and here's, here's my apology accent. because I said, um, as there was a shot of you as a very very young, and yeah. I think I said, oh, isn't she gorgeous? Just then, the, <laughs> yeah. sh the shot changed to you oh, walking out. Walking out in a bikini, so it's, uh, oh, it's okay. It turned it's creepy okay. all of a he's sudden. A, he's, those he's, were the good old days where I could eat whatever I wanted, and it was like all in, in the right place. Now, yeah. now not oh, so that's much. good that you love that heritage. It's yeah. great. No, so many I success it. stories out of Summer Bay. Uh, now we noticed this tweet from you yep. right yes. during the week after jetting in Australia that you scoffed half a block of Cadbury's <laughs> chocolate in one go. You're yeah. from the Commonwealth. You'll totally understand. <laughs> True or false? Did this happen? Um, this absolutely happened. I was very jet lagged. I actually woke up. I tried to make it sound a little more normal. I woke up at 3:30. And then I told my husband to please go get my... I went to the Royal Easter Show and I said, please go get the block of Cadbury. He's like, there's, there's something wrong with you. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm from Australia. I need Cadbury's. I'm jet lagged. Give it to me now. Oh, yeah. So he did. Awesome. And I ate, yeah, I ate most of it. So um, I'm very embarrassed to... Yep, that is absolutely true. <laughs> well, we have um, Larry's dug deep into his pocket. Okay. Um, my personal... Personal. <gasps> the personal coffers and... Oh! This is and this Thank is you so much. the fact we have two bars shows you how stingy Larry Thank is. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. I'm going to start eating it now. <laughs> well, actually, that's the next awesome. bit of this segment. We're going to time Tell you hello. to see how quickly. Good, huh? My husband always asks me. He's like, "Would you eat this block for like a hundred bucks?" I'm like, "Would I'd you eat it for 10 <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'll give you twenty. I'm to really eat. cheap. <laughs> I'll give you twenty to eat both those now. Okay, that's, I'll do it. <laughs> whatever, whatever it takes. Hey, looking back at everything that you've done, uh, when did you feel like? that you'd really made it. And I'm thinking even before Hollywood because back yeah. on Summer Bay, you must have been going, pinching yourself, going, hey, I'm young and this, I'm famous and this is great. You know what it was? I think um, I actually studied acting from a very young age. I did all the Estedfords. I studied at the Trinity London College of Speech and Drama for my whole life. So um, I was the little girl at four years old who had the fake cigarette and the, and the big jacket on pretending I was a diva. Nothing has changed. <laughs> um, I think it was when the first, I remember I was in Epping and someone asked for my autograph and I just never, I, I had written my name. I wanted to be Tam and Vincent Valentine for my oh, whole career. That's it didn't so... really happen. So I, I used to like do TVV, TVV with all the little hearts on it. Like, well, that's probably why I failed at math. Um, but uh, when someone asked for my autograph, that was pretty amazing. And then in the States, Pretty Little Liars has been such a cult following. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's based on book season, series. Right? We just got picked up for the fifth season. They're Good. doing Congrats, a spin off. Yeah. So um, I think when people start camping outside your hotel and when you have to use pseudo names, wow. then you know you've really made it. Are, are you using your old pseudo name? I'm using my best friend's name, which is kind of a little weird because um, when she calls up, she's like, no, that's my name. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, no, no, that's the person staying here. So. Are you blown away at how well Pretty Little Lies has taken off? Yeah, I mean, it was just a, um, a show that I auditioned. I play a visually impaired character and um, I thought it was the worst audition I've ever done. I actually walked out and told my husband that I'm giving up acting. 
um, and it literally changed my life. I, I think in the audition I said to, to the people, the producers, I said, I'm so bad I should leave. <laughs> and they gave me the job. I think they thought, oh, she's, she's, so, she's so funny. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's so funny because in all the auditions I did and I yeah. said that, they went, great, <laughs> yeah. the door. They're like, goodbye. Uh, Golden no. Slipper. This, yes. this is exciting. It's great to have you back down under, but tell us yeah. about this. This is great. I actually shot a horse. Um, I shot a movie about a horse. Oh, no, like, no, I no, shot a horse. No, 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 please don't tweet about that. I shot a movie about a horse called Flicker 2, yeah, and yeah. Um, I could, I hadn't even ever got on a horse before this movie, and by the end of it I was running in a stampede of 200 horses, and oh, I, wow. I just fell in love with the beauty and the grace of the animal, and when they said, you know, would you like to come to Australia, firstly, I, I would love to come to Australia, but um, I actually love racing, and uh, I have my trifecta picks already. I was sitting in bed last night, like, saying, who's going to come first, second, and third? We went to the racetrack yesterday, and I got to see these incredible horses, mm. so, um, yeah, it's just really exciting, and I think nowhere else in the world they have kind of this world-class racing and and the Australians are so proud of it you know so yeah. it's like a national heritage it's, it's amazing um, thanks for coming in we, we love our Aussie success stories yes, over there it's and so just, good yeah great thank to see you so much and thanks for wearing leather it yes. appears everyone's wearing leather today and the same color yeah, I know, yeah, I love yeah, it. Yeah. you can never get too much leather <laughs> Larry. Larry, your get turn on, next get on board the trend oh, yeah. right, right. thanks so much great thank to you see so much. you there. All right, just ahead for you here on the morning show the friendliest place on earth we reveal which country is the most welcoming in the world and you might be surprised where Australia places on